So Sergio Diaz, uh, this is the first time that you've ever worked with Alfonso Cuaron as a director. Uh, what were your expectations like going in? Okay, uh, for me it was a huge challenge to work with him because I admire our, all the, the work that he, he do and was a, a dream for me to work with him. So in this particular film, which is very personal. So I, I was totally focused on, on the film during months, months, and talked with him about the, the, the sound in his memories, what he wants to do for the film. So <clears throat> for me, it was a really, really good experience to work with him. He's a very good director. I should say you've worked with him as a producer before on uh, his son's film, Juanos, um, and also you've worked with the, his two best friends, uh, Alejandro Inuritu and Guillermo del Toro. So I guess this is just one more piece of the puzzle of your filmography. Yeah. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about, it. you mentioned this is a very personal film. Um, it's something that's about his childhood, uh, growing up in Mexico City in the 1970s. So when you first started talking to him, what were those conversations like? What did, what did he want from you? Um, to, to build, to construct all the sound, the specific sounds in that period. So what was my, my goal? So during that process, I do my own research that what kind of sounds in Mexico City should be like 70, 71 for him, and do a many, many passes and, and construct a, a different options for the birds sounds in Mexico City, for the car sounds, for the atmospheres, for the vendors, all the vendors on the city and everything. So we have to, I have to build specific moments in all the worlds around the, the, the film because I have the Roma neighborhood. Mm -hmm. we, ha we, we have uh, cinema, hospitals, the students, the hacienda with the rich people, the Nesa city with there's a lot of poor people and the beaches and all that 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 kind of sound so every everything all the preparation should be for the atmos right uh, mixing so what's up um i just want to expand a little bit on um you know you uh in, in terms of uh there's so little dialogue in the movie and so much of your experience of it is you know these moments of quote unquote silence, but you mentioned all these things, sounds of cars, sounds of the beach, uh, sounds of birds and things like that. Um, can you just give us an example of how your work helps create this sort of, um, as you say, atmosphere, but um, you know, I mean, helps to kind of put the audience in the place of, uh, of this setting? Yeah. Uh... I would like to do a, a good example uh, with, for example, in that period, we have a lot of beards, a lot of specific beards, not the industrial sound that actually happens in Mexico. So we did in 2016, and uh, in December 25, exactly, we record all the city, just the room tom, in all areas in Mexico, the north, south, east, west, and uh, the specific beers in near to this to the Mexico, which recorded and have everything, uh, all the sounds splitted with different uh, kind of beers and uh, the engines for the for the vehicles was another huge moments because there's an, a huge street insurgentes in, in Baja California which all the cars that you see are independent so 
we record two or three days more than 150 cars and build and construct the specific sound that Alfonso wants to have in his memories. So every single shot was a huge challenge for me. Every single shot. Um, and, and I mean, also the fact that, uh, you know, there's no you know, score. Uh, there's not a lot of, there's not a ton of music. I mean, I guess there's some source music in there as well. So your work really works as sort of the, if you will, musical score of this film. So does that kind of put added pressure on you? Yes, yes, absolutely. Because uh, I, I need to construct a, like a harmony. You know what I mean? Every, every single show has different points of sounds, dialogues, some backgrounds, some folly, some everything. It's kind of realistic thing in the Dolby Atmos. So the preparation, there's a lot of layers, 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 independent, just to be manipulated on the mix stage. So it was for me uh, a good moment because everything is the sound design. Should be only sound design with winds, with vocals, with all the <laughs> the instruments that you see in the in the shot. Um, there's also I'm, so when you're putting all this stuff together, um, can you talk a bit about the decisions that you make in order to say, okay, in this moment, uh, we need to focus more on, I guess. How do you balance all this stuff out, all these different elements that you're throwing in there where, you know, it's like you've got the dialogue on one hand, then you've got the sound of the cars, sound of birds, sound of maybe a, a distant radio often. You know, how do you, uh, is that something that you talk with the mixer about and, and all that? How do you how do you make those determinations? Yes, uh, the process was at the first pass, watch the movie, watch the film with Alfonso, and. We have everything that you want to hear. No, I missed this, this, this. Okay, we're gonna add layers, layers and layers. And after that, we go to the mixer, which Skip Lipsey and Craig Hennigan, at the mix with Alfonso. So Alfonso start doing directions. Okay, guys, I need to hear this here, 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 and understand what Alfonso wants to hear in that atmospheres. So in every sequence, Alfonso gives us a directions with a precision, like a surgic. So uh, <clears throat> and Skip, Craig, and I just do what Alfonso wants to, to hear it. But we need to be very specific sounds at that moment approved by Alfonso. So I, I work with, with, with during 18 months full time to prepare all the sound design. And four months before I did my own research, recording, recording, and blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, working with somebody like Quaron, uh, I, I guess, uh, how does that compare to some other filmmakers that you've worked with? What does he, uh, give you that that helps you in the work that you need to do. Yeah, Alfonso is very clear what he wants to do. So for me, it was a really good experience because all the time he he's keep he pushing you to go at the next level, the next level, the next level. So the excellence in every every moment. So for me it was really enjoyable and and I learned a lot and I give you my, I give my life in in Roma <laughs> so <laughs> during that process well uh, have you uh, I guess you've have seen the movie all put together since I mean you've had to put all the sound in there what do you think when you see the movie and and why do you think people have connected to it so much that's beautiful because the connection with the people uh, when I saw it, I, I I I didn't see the movie. I just watched the people behind me, next to me, in front of me, the the reactions. The people really connect with that period, and 
it was a really surprising for me that everybody's connecting with the sound. Maybe because we don't have music, I don't know exactly, but there's a lot of connections during the 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 the, 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 the movie. So every every single person has a particular connection with the specific scenes. Maybe for the period of the movie, I have the connection too, obviously. But in that moment, I would love to hear what the people think about the the, the movie. And yeah, I mean, that's really good that people likes the sound. So I think yeah. we did a, a good a good job. <laughs> yeah, it's such specific work that it 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 creates such a specific time and place that um, you know I mean it almost feels universal in a way. I mean, I did not grow up in the 1970s in Mexico City, but I feel like I know what it was like to grow up then. And I feel like it was my childhood I was experiencing in a lot of ways. So that's great. That's great. So uh, one, I would like to to talk about the, my favorite scene. Oh, yes, please do. Is, 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 is when, when we saw the end titles because all, all the sound, specific sounds for Mexico City are condensed there. Many vendors on the street, cars on the street, avenues behind us, families talking, kids playing, planes over <laughs> our sky, and water running, and all that kind of sounds, beers and it's like a spiritual moment for me because <clears throat> I'm always do all the mornings, look in the sky and it's part of my personality. And, and when I saw the end, when I I was totally surprised because for me it's beautiful, it's a, a spiritual connection with the world, with the universe and the life continue, that's it. And and it's, it's very harmonic that that moment of peace for me. Well, it's an extraordinary movie. Uh, Sergio Diaz, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your work. Thank you to you, Zach. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Have a good one.